Hey guys, uh, it's Cassie and I'm here to talk to you today about Cornhole. It's a game that I love to enjoy and I've heard a couple of you guys mention that you played on the weekends. So I thought it would be a great idea to make a video about ways to modify it in your home if you don't have the official Cornhole board and bags and everything. So to talk about some benefits of Cornhole, they include increasing your standing tolerance and balance, especially if you're standing and walking from board to board. That's really great for just developing that standing tolerance because games could go for a little bit. Um, cornhole is great for incorporating both, both the use of your arms. And so you could throw it with one hand, your non-dominant hand or your dominant hand, or you can toss the bag with both hands. All parts can be modified based on ability with materials around your home. So you can change the weight of the bean bag um, depending on if you use a lot of rice or maybe no rice at all. Cornhole increases your hand-eye coordination and really helps you focus on where you want to throw that bag across to the other board that requires a lot of motor control and strength as well. And there's a cognitive aspect for counting and keeping score because if you're competitive like me, you like to make sure you know what the score is. And then it's great for social engagement and having fun too, whether it's with your family or friends. Um, it's a great way to just participate in staying active while also having fun with family and friends. So I hope you guys have fun and let me know how it goes. Okay, so the first bean bag I'm gonna show you how to make, it just requires two socks. And I don't know, it doesn't matter if you have long socks or short socks. This is how I fold my socks, so maybe you're familiar with this, but you're just gonna lay them on top of each other, have one of them, open one of them up, and then you're gonna tuck in with your thumb both socks together to create a little ball. And there, that's an easy lightweight bean bag you can use if you're in the house or you just don't wanna have a heavier bean bag. Here's an easy, easy bean bag to use. The next option for a little bit sturdier of a bean bag is to use one sock and then a bag of rice. So you can just pour a bag of, or pour some rice into a Ziploc bag. And then instead of pouring the rice straight into the sock to make it easier for you, all you're gonna do is just tuck in the bag into the sock and then let it go to the bottom. And then you can use a rubber band to secure it or just tie the sock in a knot. And then you have your sturdier bean bag. Those were just two ways that you can make bean bags at home with socks. I attached a document as well that includes other ways to make bean bags with fabric that you can use hot glue gun or even duct tape to just surround the fabric of the bean and while putting your bag of rice or corn or dry beans um, to fill in. So these are just two ways, but attached as well are more options to make at home. Now to show you what you can use instead of a cornhole board for in the house, you can use a python. I put a cloth underneath it if you're using it on a table just to help it not slide around too much. You can add weight to it by putting, you know, a bag of rice or maybe a book or something to keep it from sliding around too much. But if you're using a lightweight sock as you're tossing them in, it shouldn't move around too much. So this is probably a safe combination using a light bag of uh, a light sock um, with a python. So that way you don't have to worry about it sliding around. So another option is a box. This one's like a felt box used for indoors, but you can move it outside or maybe play on the ground indoors. Um, and I put some books at the bottom in here to add some stability. And again, using a lightweight bean bag, you don't have to worry about it moving too much. But if you're using a heavier bean bag, um, adding more stability to the bottom of the box will really help it stay in place. Again, either indoors or outdoors. Some other options you can use if you're playing outdoors, um, you could put a hula hoop on the ground if you have some of those. I know they're sort of rare, I guess, nowadays. Um, some other options could be maybe a bucket that you have outside, or you can move some sort of like pie tin or even just maybe a cloth outside, any sort of target that you can aim to that's stable and will stay in place while you're tossing your bean bags across. This video, I'm just going to do a demonstration of how to play it seated. So I'm just sitting on my couch and then I have this little coffee table and you can set it as far apart as you want, depending on your strength. And I'm using um, just a bucket I had around my house and I put a cloth on the table just for safety. 
and um, that can be a part of the scoring as well. And then I have a just the double sock. There's no rice in here. I just used a light one. So let's start the game. So what you're gonna do, and you can do this with your partner, is you can just sit on the couch nice and tall at the edge, and then depending on how far away you want it, you can just toss it in. So if you get it in, I can count the bucket as three points, and then this cloth is just one point. If you don't have a cloth, you can adjust the scoring as you want, but if you make it right on the edge and just miss the bucket, you can count that as one point, and then again, if you make it inside, that can be three points. And then you just alternate taking turns with your partner. And you can use as many socks as you want to um, just have more bean bags available. Hope you guys have fun.